Many safety speakers wonder, what if I can't answer a question during a presentation? What if I just don't know the answer? A great safety speaker knows how to handle that situation. During a session, you're doing a safety meeting or whatever else, somebody asks a question that you don't have the answer for. You need to get more information, more uh, whatever to answer that question. So she asked, was it, is it appropriate at that point to write that down? In that case, yes, I would. Um, two reasons. One, if I take the time to write it down, I have unconsciously told that person that what they just said is pretty important. That's also why I wrote the stuff up here. I don't need this stuff. This is all in my outline. There's not a single thing anybody ever mentions from the room that isn't already in my notes. But why do I do that? It lets you know I think it was important. When Mike said his thing and I hadn't written it down, I went, oh shoot, I'm conveying the wrong message. If I also write down Kathy's and not yours, Mike's going to be going, well, mine wasn't important to write down, right? So that's why I make those notes up there. Not because I need them, but because I want you guys to understand it's important to me. Okay? So you write that. Now, there's another thing I tell people. When somebody asks a question in a meeting and you cannot answer it at that time, what I do is this technique. Because I want people to understand they can count on me getting back to them. What I will do is I'll say, okay, Linda, I, I don't have the information on that right now, but let me get back to you on it. Um, and then I'll, I'll give an estimation on time if I can. I might often say, hey, listen, I'll try and get back to you on that by Friday. Okay, so today is what, Sunday? So I'll get back to you on that by Friday. Now, she knows what my commitment is. By the way, I'll write down Friday on that note also, so that I know I'm keeping that. Now, the other thing I do is I just told you I repeat questions just like I did. But there's another thing I'll do. Is what I would say is, we're at the very next meeting like that. Maybe it's a, a monthly safety meeting. So it's next month's safety meeting. I've gotten back to you during the course of that week, and maybe this is a question that doesn't pertain to anybody else. It's just you. So I got back the information to you. At the next meeting where that question was asked, after I've answered it, I will say, by the way, at the last meeting, uh, Linda had a question on something, and uh, I said I'd get back to you by Friday. Did, did, I get, did I answer your question for you? Absolutely. Right. And she says, yes. What did that do? It let people know that I followed up on it. All right. If you don't follow up on it, people will also remember that. Right? They'll know that you didn't follow up and you, what's, what's the point of asking, right? And, and that happens. We're talking about that management stuff. Sometimes you're communicating. They don't always get back to you, so you figure, hey, safety isn't that important? And maybe it isn't. I, when I do a leadership talk for managers, I say, hey, listen, if you, if you talk about production and quality and this and another thing, and then you never talk about safety, what does it tell people? What's really important? If you follow up on production items, and you follow up on quality items, and you never follow up on safety items, guess what? You don't care about safety. <laughs> and we get that. Don't miss out. Be sure to hit the red button on the lower right and subscribe. That way, every time we release a video, you'll be aware of it.